it seems to me that you find out that you are getting old when you figure that days, then weeks, then months go by so fast more and more I'm catching myself thinking that when I was young I was not aware of this time passing but then I also feel now that time passes so fast so fast kids get so grown up Hello YouTube, this is Daniel Master and I'm pipe maker from Croatia. Welcome to my channel. Along with other projects that I'm running right now, I have several open. I started this girl. What do you know? A classic thin light billiard. Hmm. I have an order to make a pipe that is um, similar to Dr. Grego Duke, which should be something like this. When I thin it down, it will be light. But a gentleman wanted a pipe that is a bit longer than a regular Duke, so. I'm thinking that I will end up at about 30 grams or something. That would be an interesting pipe to maybe substitute this one in the workshop. Because um, it is a light pipe. Hmm. I think I will add a temp or two made from bamboo because I kind of get interested in those kind of tempers maybe I will substitute even my temper here in the workshop okay this one is done yeah these last days I'm really really tired and I'm really happy when I come here in the workshop and uh, have time to smoke a pipe and be by myself to be honest Good morning YouTube, this is Daniel Master and I'm pipe maker from Croatia. Welcome to my channel. I'm getting used to this. <laughs> anyway, oh by the way, I have a new temper. So when I was making this temper, it's just a piece of olive that has a hole inside, a reject piece of wood. Mm. I was uh, thinking every time I'm using a temper, I feel that I have one problem <clears throat> that the surface that I'm using for tamping is um, kind of uh, concave but like this concave you know and always it seems to me that I cannot uh, make uh, a tobacco in my chamber not even flat but I don't want to have it flat I, I want to have it slightly like this so that it holds inside the chamber so what I figured I used the surface you cannot see it probably but my surface is like this on this tamper I'll just a little bit so that I have a sharp edges actually and it seems to me that it's working a lot better mm -hmm. A lot better than than tampers that are flat and then a little bit like if you are holding a, a, a tamper like this a flat and then has a little drop on each side so that actually the surface is like that I don't like that 
it seems to me that it doesn't make uh, my tobacco sit fixed inside the bowl so I figured I will make this uh, and it seems to me that it works really well it kind of makes the tobacco stick inside the bowl packed which is great that's what we need actually yeah I think I will use in future this kind of um, a tamper I have probably not discovered uh, warm water but you know I haven't had any that are like this so I figured okay I should probably do that because I think that will be better okay um, today we have barking dogs in the background uh, we have two pipes that are done I just need to cover the chamber and we have one that is in making that will be really a nice one I think I got an order from a, a gentleman really a proper gentleman that wanted a pipe similar to similar to Dr. Grable Duke but a little bit longer and a little bit thinner shank so <laughs> that will be interesting but I think I have a nice piece of briar over there and what I did to show you it's yeah it's not you know fixed I need to to do that it's still in shaping far from done and it's a huge one so I need to trim it down but overall that is the plan for today and what I used for the sh for the stem I'm not sure if you can see it right. That's a vintage Bakelite. That's a material I got from Joao Ries when I was in Denmark. He he gave me a few few rods from Bakelite that he is not using. Uh and uh, that Bakelite is from Stanwell a company before they closed down so it is really vintage so and it's beautiful material it has so many random like you know waves and stock stuff swirls and stuff like that it's really beautiful when when you do it properly it's it's perfect I love that material so I'm using it really really rare <laughs> because I'm trying to <laughs> hold it for myself <laughs> anyway hmm. the the two pipes I mentioned they are from uh, series 22 let's hope that it will be a series 22 so without a further ado I will probably hopefully properly announce them so uh, series 22 uh, will be pipes made in one shape only uh, reverse calabash two versions of those one version that will have a shank that is uh, partially rusticated and the other that will have a shank that is smooth shape will be more or less the same I will show you and uh, uh, stem will be acrylic, uh, chamber will be reasonably big, not too, not too big, you will see. So I finished the first one, that's the first one, you know, that's how I wanted to have it. So in the shank, the smooth part, there is a reverse calabash chamber and I need to cover the bowl inside just to you know make it look a bit better okay so that's the first one and uh, this is whoa this is the second one see it has partially rusticated shank 
like this. More, uh, more of them will come, that's for sure. And I think that uh, this shape I will not make other than for this series. Anyway, I got work to do. I have some dust to make, so I will not talk too much. I will just smoke this one and uh, go back to work. <laughs>